Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Today I'm gonna to talk about what's in my purse. I'm gonna show you what's in my purse and I think you're gonna be surprised. So stay tuned if you wanna check this out. All right guys, so here I am. This is my purse. I think I bought this purse back in December because there's a reason. I have been wanting to start a bullet journal for months. I was like, you know what, I'm going to start a new year and I'm going to, yeah, just write in my bullet journal. So I'm going to take it everywhere I go. And so I need a purse that's big enough to carry my bullet journal in. So I went to Target, I brought my bullet journal and I literally just, you know, sized the purses and tried to figure out what would fit a bullet journal. So I bought this purse at, like I said, at Target. It's you know, it has a strap that I can easily put around me. It's comfortable. It might not be that stylish, but I'm not that big into fashion or anything like that. I'm more into comfort and what's sensible to me. So I went ahead and bought this. And um, I, from years ago, when I used, I had so, I own so many purses, like so many purses. I probably had eight, between eight and 10, and that might not even be a lot to some people, but that's a lot to me. And I would change them with the outfits, but for this, I was like, you know what, it's black. And I honestly, this is the only purse I own now. I only own this one. So I wanted something that was gonna be able to go with everything. So I got this, this black purse. Before, I used to keep so much stuff in my purse that I would have such a hard time finding things. I would have keys and receipts and, you know, change and so much stuff that I would be in, in my purse, like digging around and I can't find anything. And I absolutely hate that. So for my own peace of mind, my own anxiety, I needed to have a purse that is calming or not stressful to me. So this is why I have what I have in my purse. And yeah, I'm excited to show you. So this purse has a front pocket, which honestly doesn't have anything in there. Uh, actually, it does. I have a business card that I picked up last week and an obituary for my friend who just passed away. I went to her viewing the other day. Um, and that will be put in a memory book uh, very, very soon. And uh, inside, there's just this main pocket, and there's two inside pockets and one zippered pocket. And inside the main pocket, I literally have my sunglasses for when I am wearing my contacts, which I am right now. I have my wallet which I don't even know where I got it. It might have been Target as well. It's very dirty. It, it's broken. It doesn't even snap fully shut. I have my phone and I have my car keys. In one of those little pockets, I also have some band-aids or I did have some band-aids. I think I need to restock only because one time, I think it was about two months ago, I had some new shoes on and I got blisters and I really needed band-aids and I didn't have any in there. So I now have, you know, two or three band-aids just in case. And then in my zippered pocket, I have the good old cotton organic chemical free tampons. And that is it. Uh, my back pocket, there is nothing in there. So that is all that I actually carry in my purse, which is very helpful because even during the week, because I work at a hospital, sometimes I just take my backpack and I can literally just take this out and throw it in my backpack. And I forgot the front zipper. The front zipper actually uh, isn't obviously right here. And it ha I usually carry my Lip Sense lip gloss. I always carry the gloss and then if I actually have a color on then I will carry the color as well just for reapplication to the wet line if I'm at, I'm gonna be out all day um, so there's that and then I also carry a perfume which I don't have in here it's in my backpack because I went to work today and it's a roll-on perfume that I got at Target again that's vegan cruelty free brand um, I will put the the name of it in the description below because I can't think it off think of it off the top of my head. So this is my minimalist purse. There 
it's really nothing in here and I'm okay with that. I'm confident in that. I love it. It makes me feel very stress-free and minimalist. Like I said, I'm really trying to get rid of a lot of things this year, things that I don't necessarily need. And this just helps me out a lot. It makes me feel like I have some kind of control over what's going on. And yeah, I just really wanted to share with you what a minimalist, I don't even know if, if this is technically a minimalist bag. I would love to know what's in your bag because I know I love watching those types of videos and I would love to see what other people carry. Uh, I know that somebody might only have a wallet and have nothing else. Other people might have 15 different things and that's okay too. Sometimes change does accumulate and at the end of the week I might have a little bit of a mess at the bottom of my bag or in one of the pockets and then I'll just over the weekend take everything out, re-clean it and then go back about my week with my minimalist bag. If you have any questions, if you like these types of videos, please give it a thumbs up. If you love seeing videos on veganism, activism, minimalism, what's in my fridge and what I'm eating during the day and what I'm wearing because I am going to be showing you a capsule wardrobe by the end of this week, I would love to see you hit that little red subscribe button and follow along. And thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.